I grew up doing like the traditional thing and I ended up going to school and like going to teacher's college and doing all that, but I had a switch in my life. I was in a taxi and I was a passenger in the taxi and a drunk driver in a pickup truck hit the taxi I was in. That altered my life because I had to be in the hospital. I had several years of recovery. I had a brain injury from it, so I had to I had to relearn a lot of things. It gave me a lot of time to think, recuperate. Basically, since I was held back, I felt like my life was on pause for so long. When I was finally able to do things, then I just went full force and I'm still going full force and like trying to accomplish everything I want to do. When I'm making beats, it kind of like takes me to another world. I feel like I have like an out-of-body experience because I don't like to hear the outside world when I'm listening to my music. Some of the struggles I kind of had growing up, uh, being overweight and being considered at the time, uh, to put it lightly, a dumb kid. Hey. I actually had a couple teachers tell me that I wouldn't amount to anything. Them being the adult, I thought that, you know, they were right. It made me feel like I was dumb. It made me feel really insecure about myself and the fact that I was overweight. You know, as I got older, it, it, it kind of hindered me to want to do certain things because I was afraid and I thought I couldn't do it. If I have a crappy day or whatever, you know, I can go to the gym and I can get that frustration out and then by the time I'm done, all those endorphins and stuff that get released into your head, it, uh, it makes you feel like you're high but in just different kind of way, you know? One of the things about me is I really firmly believe that things do happen for a reason. I think that before we come to this planet, um, we're in a space where we make these things and we have a different perspective on planet Earth and human beings. When we come into this body, part of our path and part of our journey, we have these guides around us that really help to steer us and guide us in particular directions um, in order for us to fulfill whatever experience it is that we're meant to have on this planet. Take your needle, find some skin, and then you wanna put it in like that, drop the needle. When I was 11, I got diagnosed with what's called type one diabetes. From that point, I would have to start taking about 12 to 14 needles a day, whether that's injecting needles into my into my legs or taking pricking my finger five times a day just to make sure that I, that I knew my blood sugar level before I went to bed so I didn't go into a coma. I would have to start doing that from a young age and really learning how to eat right. I knew it was up to me to really find out my best way on how to be healthy and how to take care of my, my diabetes the best way I could to really allow myself to fulfill my mission, fulfill my purpose and, and be here to this day to be able to you know do what it is that I'm meant to do on this planet. When I first stopped playing hockey, it's crazy because Nobody really tells you what you're gonna feel. Like when you played something your entire life, every single day, ate, drank, slept it, and all of a sudden you get injured and you can't play anymore. No one really teaches a kid how to deal with it when, when all you know you play, you eat, breathe, drink it, sleep it for like 10, 12 years, and all you think about in your head every day is how to get better playing hockey, how to make it, how to help your family, and one day you can't do it, and it's like, damn. They're like, okay, what you wanna do now? What, where do you wanna work? You know, and you're just like, in your mind, you're like, damn, I just wanna play hockey. Recently I'm 
feeling well. Yeah. I may make the goals and dare. Yeah. Recently, I'm feeling well. Yeah. I may make the goals and dare. Yeah. I may make the goals and dare. Put out bats, make a pair. Uh, Tom Holland better pray. Yeah. Cause I may make the goals and dare. Whoa. I may make the goals and dare. Yeah. Greatest showman on the way up. Yeah. Recently, I'm feeling well. I may make the goals and dare. I dealt with a lot of stereotypes. People kind of guide the direction of who I should be by comments, you know, calling me things uh, like Oreo and like saying like, oh, like you're like white and stuff. So I was just a kid just trying to have fun, trying to, you know, I was new, I was nervous. You know, you're going through all the stuff and trying to impress the girls and and be be a kid that like, you know, people want to hang out with. So I just dealt with a lot of like a lot of teen angst, just you know, uh, I didn't really fit in. My biggest fears are just overthinking and, and second guessing myself. I, I think you fight your hardest battles within yourself. That's, you know, I think that's something that every artist slash every person in general goes through. And I think that's my, you know, biggest fear. I want to inspire people who are, you know, like-minded, who have a goal, who have a dream, and that really believe that dream. You got to chase your dreams because you only get one life here and you got to make it worthwhile and, and do the things that you want to do. And that's what, you know, one of my biggest motivations is, is just showing people that, you know, that's important. Making them know that there's somebody else who is acknowledging dreams and that's putting it into action. G987 FM, the way we groove. Good morning, Toronto. It's your boy MC Links checking in with you on this beautiful, beautiful Tuesday morning. Keep it locked. Got music away from Drake. Y'all know what it is with Chris Brown, no guidance right here on G987, the way we groove. Growing up, I, I grew up with speech impediment. I had a bad stutter growing up till about, till about I was maybe about 12 years old, 13 years old. And then I, when I was in elementary school, my teacher asked me to MC, I guess it was sort of like a little, they had like a little show going on, like a, a lip sync contest. Um, so I was nervous because obviously, you know, my stuttering was so bad that even with therapy, I couldn't even answer, answer the phone at times, couldn't say hello, couldn't say a lot of words. Um, the day I picked up a microphone, that's when everything changed. My stuttering had just gone away. And on an average, how many selfies do you take a day? Oh, I probably take at least uh, 10 to 15 selfies a 10 day. 10 to 15 selfies a day. Okay, now have you tried the chin pose selfie? The one thing that I'm scared of uh, in life is failure, being a failure to my kids. Um, my kids are my everything, and I try to be the best dad. You know, you're my best friend. You know, as much as I'm hard you, on you at times, I love you. And, you know, I'll always get your back no matter what. I love you, you're my best friend. So happy birthday, salute to Ishan. What do you think your purpose is in life? My purpose is to create and through that, I feel like with my hard work, I'm inspiring a lot of people, which I've already gotten messages about, which is really nice. I think my purpose is yet to be discovered. Everybody's purpose is also to just reach like a fulfillment within themselves and just be content when they look in the mirror. For me, it's about infusing positive energy as a vibrational frequency and conduit into this dimension, into this world. And I know that's kind of deep, but from that perspective, I can build a what do I want to be on top of that. I think my purpose honestly is just to entertain people and because I have that emotional side as well, I can feel other people's feelings and you know, I want to just empower them and lift them up. My purpose in life is not fully served yet, but it's definitely it's definitely happening right now. My ultimate goal in life is 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 happiness, it's freedom. It's making sure, you know, I'm fulfilling my, my purpose of inspiring and motivating as many people as possible of, of helping the planet in a time when it really needs it. One of them is to travel the world filling stadiums of people who came to see me. Self-fulfillment and fulfillment of people that I care about just to know, you know, that um, I'm where I'm supposed to be. I just want to get to where I'm supposed to be. If, if, if I were to really take, to have just one ultimate goal, it's really to kind of just bring joy to people through music. It's definitely motivated me to be the best I can be, not only as a father, but as, you know, what I do as a career, as a radio personality. Maybe that's the best.
Rocky Raptors on Michael B. Jordan. Your boy MC Links here with you till 2 p.m. Keep it locked. If I achieve the ultimate goal, uh, hell yeah, it'll make me happy. I'll be happy and I will keep going for more. I, I would be really, really happy. I'm a, I'm a happy guy as it is, but I would be super, super happy that I reach that ultimate goal. I, I'm gonna feel amazing. I mean, for me, when it comes to feeling amazing, though, I think it's important to know that there's no such thing to me as an end point. What is it that we are after in life? Why do we want to inspire? Why do we want to motivate? Do we all just want the same thing in life? To love, to be loved, to matter. What is your ultimate goal?